Hello, <clears throat> and welcome to the feed. I'm Myron Donnelly. And I'm Vince Cantrell. And, and here's, here's what's, what's up. up. <clears throat> President Obama recently announced that he is giving the NSA some new guidelines on how they collect data on American citizens, essentially restricting them from violating anyone's constitutional rights. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, that's not the joke. <laughs> Obama went on to indicate that Though every U.S. citizen is protected through the rights of the Constitution, the NSA would not violate those rights. That, of course, is Target's job. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> speaking of Target, the large retailer chain uh, recently announced that it is dropping health insurance for part-time employees, mm. and they're blaming it all on Obamacare. Oh, of course. <laughs> I guess now if Target employees need to pay for health care, they'll just have to use their customers' credit cards. I'll tell you, Myron, I'm really glad right about now. I don't shop at Target. Yeah, I'm really glad I take all my business to Walmart. Yes, Walmart. <laughs> uh. Uh. Yeah, we've, we've got some uh, really intriguing uh, Walmart customers. Mm -hmm. yep. In other news, uh, in other news, researchers at Princeton uh, made news this week by proclaiming the impending doom of Facebook. They concluded that Facebook will lose 80% of its peak users between 2015 and 2017. Now, naturally, a report of this scale went viral. But mm -hmm. Facebook data scientist Mike Devlin wasn't prepared to let the Princeton researchers have the final word. Mm -hmm. In a report that used the exact same study methods as the Princeton study, which used the decline of Google searches for Facebook as credible indication of usage decline? Yes, using those same study methods, they found that Princeton will have only half its current enrollment by 2018. Mm. And by 2021, they will have no students at all. That's unfortunate. Devlin went on to add that while we are concerned for Princeton University, we're even more concerned about the fate of the planet. Google searches for air have also been declining steadily, and our projections show that by the year 2060, there will be no air left. <laughs> but, but, but let's be honest, though. This was a truly strategic move for Princeton. Mm -hmm. If they eliminate the Harvard-created Facebook, that leaves them room to slip in their newly created social network, Lamebook. Lamebook. Yeah. That's lame. It really is. See what I did there? I did. In heroic act of, act of patriotism, the state of Florida recently announced that the number one domestic terrorist in America had been arrested. Yes, Justin Hussein, I mean Justin Bieber. Mm. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, Justin Bieber yeah. was caught going 60 miles per hour in his Lamborghini. Hey, Justin, bro, uh, it's called second gear. It, it, try it sometime. Mm -hmm. But to be fair, I mean, it is Florida. Anything over 25 is pretty much considered drag racing. Basically. Yeah. That's so true. But, but, you know, Mr. Bieber was booked into a Miami jail and charged with driving under the influence, uh, resisting arrest, and, and driving without a valid driver's license. Mm. But despite everything against him, Mr. Bieber remained cheery throughout the entire event whenever his fans were around. Yeah. He proceeded to wave to his fans in and out of jail. I guess when your insane popularity survives news story to news story, any news is still news, right? <laughs> yeah, true. Wrong, Mr. Nope. Bieber. So wrong. Yep. But we will say this, though. There should be no surprise. Uh, Justin's next single is entitled Lockdown. So true. And speaking of lockdown... <sighs> oh, see, yeah, see, you were probably expecting us, us to make, like, some sort of crude yeah. joke about the recent lockdown right here on campus a few weeks ago. Well, no, we aren't. Nope. Instead, we'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the hard work of the College of Police Department and campus safety and all those who are involved with keeping our campus safe. Let's give them a hand. Because here's the thing, guys. You know, here, here at Studio 4109, we recognize which topics are great for jokes and which are on the more serious mm -hmm. side. And this one was definitely more serious, and despite the rumors... Which ended up being Happy Valley's biggest game of telephone. Yeah. Despite the rumors, we're glad that nobody was hurt and that the suspect was never actually on campus. Mm -hmm. On an entirely unrelated note, have you seen this progression? <laughs> yep. yep. That's, that's, that's crazy. Um, yeah. Man, I really don't want to know what we're looking at for an MP6. Mm. I don't want to think about it. At the State of the Union address a couple weeks ago, President Obama urged Congress to raise minimum wage. Now, don't confuse that with 
congressional minimum wage. See, that's doing the minimum for your wage. That's entirely different. Right. <laughs> President Obama, he also asked that uh, Americans pitch in and help those who are most down on their luck, like the Broncos. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he actually mentioned them by name. I he heard said that. Denver Broncos yep. in the I heard speech. That. Yeah. 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 Speaking briefly of the slaughter, I'm at Super Bowl. During the game, politician and previous First Lady Hillary Clinton hilariously tweeted, it's so much more fun to watch Fox when someone else is being blitzed and sacked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, in his State of the Union speech, uh, President Obama called for a path to citizenship for illegal aliens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was really popular. Mm -hmm. uh, even more popular, though, was his decision to, to deny Justin Bieber U.S. citizenship. Mm. That went over great. Speaking of Bieber, poor guy can't catch a break in the news today. A petition on whitehouse.gov website asked the U.S. to deport Bieber from the U.S., citing his erratic and dangerous behavior and arrests as valid reasons for deportation. Hey, I mean, people have been deported for less, right? It's, it's true. I mean, we can help. Right. I don't, I don't know if we can say that. Probably anyway, if a petition gets 100,000 signatures, the White House has to respond. Now, currently, the petition has over 250,000 signatures, which is more than any other petition on the website. Yeah. People yeah. love Bieber. It's crazy. Now, now, the Canadian military is currently scrambling jets and mobilizing troops along the border to make completely sure this doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, it, it, it's, almost, it's almost as if uh, they don't want him back. I wonder why. Yeah. I wonder why. In other news, uh, the 2014 Olympics kicked off just over a week ago in Sochi, Russia, uh, with 12 new events added to the lineup. Uh, the new events include uh, women's ski jumping, uh, luge team relays, and uh, apparently finding a working toilet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In all seriousness, though, the toilets in Sochi have been quite a hot topic on Twitter, with several people finding some very interesting things to talk about, like this particular toilet. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, now this next toilet also features an audience. It does. It does. It does. Yeah. Yep. And let's be honest, I mean, who needs privacy when you're at the Olympics, right? Seriously. <sighs> Above all else, though, it seems that Sochi has rules of engagement for their restrooms. Mm -hmm. Now, let's take a look at these for a minute. Now, first, we have no standing up. Those were quite possibly written by women. I, I, think, you, I think you may be right. Yeah. You may be right. Uh, we have no vomiting in the toilet. Or, or that could be an awkward form of praying. It's hard to tell which. Yeah. Still banned, yep. Yeah. Now, there will be zero standing on the toilet. Absolutely none. No worry, weird form of Pilates. Or, well, we just won't go there. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so glad we don't have this here in America. Finally, we have absolutely no fishing in the toilet. <laughs> and only in Russia, right? Yeah, or some redneck states out west. <laughs> You said it, I didn't. That's okay. right. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's yeah, all we have you. for tonight. Thank you all for watching. And, and remember, uh, just like your typical Thursday afternoon lockdown. Don't you go anywhere.